I'm going to talk with Jesus, everything will be all right. <laughs> Brother Charles is coming, read scripture. He'll talk to Sister Austin. Give an honor to Jesus Christ, past, past, wife, and all his saints. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it, and let's see, at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, all right. saying, um, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus <clears throat> called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be covered and become as a little child, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receives me. But whosoever shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it will it were better for him that the millstone would hang about his neck and that he was drowned in the depths of the sea. Amen. I read you Matthew 18, chapter, verse through the sixth verse. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're glad to be here. Praise the Lord. Come on, give the Lord a good day. I just can't wait to get the word. I, yeah. I, I, if I was late this morning, pray God, still thinking about the word of God. Amen. Praise God. And I was just thinking about how the Lord's blessing, this mm -hmm. service. Yeah. Thank my brother also, Lord, really doing something for him. Yeah. Yeah. We are eating the word of God. Praise God. Yeah. I think we're going to have video. Come on, give the Lord a good hand. We are eating the word of God. Praise the Lord. We are thinking about how God is really delivering some. Yeah. Praise God. They come up with great testimony. And how you bring them through, praise God, the tests and trials that we're coming through, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I thought about Sister Bula, they were fighting her, praise God, and how the Lord just brought her through, because she hung on in here. Yeah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I thought about the old days, you know, we got to come back to the old land, Ma. Praise God, first love, hallelujah. And I know that's the only way we're going to survive is coming back, praise the Lord. Because the devil is on our, on, on, is really having a war with the saints, hallelujah. Praise God, the little devil do what we got, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, ain't gonna last us, hallelujah. Not lasting us. Pray God, cause can't even get, keep, keep sick enough in our body. Wow. We got to know that, we know that, we know Jesus. We got to know that word. Wow. Praise God, then we have to apply it to our life, then we have to live it. Wow. Praise the Lord, Lord, let me know you can know it, but you got to live it. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise wow. the Lord. So we, are, we know the word, a lot of us know the word, but we're not living it. Wow. We're not up to par like we should. Wow. Right. Pray God, then when the devil attacking our body, come at me too. Yeah. Pray God, see, I know, I know, hallelujah, I know, hallelujah. Praise God, day after day, we don't know we need help. That's right. But see, we got to know that we need help. We ill. And I do need help. I come to God and I tell the Lord, I need help. I need a revival. Months and years, and the devil's still there. Yeah. We had lost it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. We might got the word, but we ain't got the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must possess it, but we ain't possess it. Hallelujah. And I want to possess this. Hallelujah. I want the power. Hallelujah. Make the devil go back to hell where he come from. Praise God. Me too. I don't want to just be hollering and kicking and jumping, and the devil still don't know me. Praise God. God told me. Hallelujah. Hey. He walked with Jesus, but he still didn't know Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, come on, you know the truth. You know the truth this morning. Hallelujah. You know we've been walking with Jesus and still don't know him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to know the Lord. Hallelujah. And I come to, you know, when I pray, I don't come tell Jesus how good I live, how many power I got. I told the Lord, my bucket, my bucket is empty. All right. It needs to be filled. Hallelujah. How come you think the Paul and Peter was so strong? They kept on getting re 
refill after refill. Praise God. Keep on standing in that word. Let me tell you something. God not going to have no half breed people. You can't right. eat everywhere and be strong. Right. That's true. Lord, let me have been with me this morning when I talk. You know what's wrong with people? We eat a little Catholic. We, live, we eat a little Church of God. We, look, we eat a little Baptist. We eat a little uh, Presbyterian. We eat all that. Praise God. It won't come with God. God is not going to agree with God. Hallelujah. We're going to have to eat the homework. We're going to eat all that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not no friend salvation. This is not, hallelujah. 
church. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he didn't have to have y'all in church this morning. Praise God. Act like we have a service this morning. Let me y'all. Let what people say. Clap your hands.
Thanking the Lord for my life, my health, and my strength. Yes, yes. Thanking the Lord for being saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I just want to thank the Lord this morning for his salvation. Yes. And praise him for all the things that he has done for me down through the years, how the Lord has just blessed and kept me all most right. of all with a mind and a state of perseverance. Yes. Even though the storms get rough and rocky, yes. but by the grace of the Lord, you know, the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. It's good to know in him whom you believe. It's good to know in him whom you trust. And I praise and I thank God, hallelujah, Jesus, because I can truly say I know in him whom I believe. I know in him whom I put all my trust, all my hope. I give him the glory and I give him the honor. I just come to the house of the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, just to praise the Lord. Now, praise the Lord. Thank the Lord for his many blessings. Thank the Lord for salvation. And I thank the Lord for, for his healing. I thank the Lord for my family. I thank the Lord for everything that he has doing that he is doing for me. And you know, and I just praise the Lord. And I, you know, I desire more and more from, from the Lord. And, and, and pray and seek the Lord. And that, that's my desire. To go on with Jesus and be ready when Jesus comes. So you all say that's for the Thank you. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life.
us to Jesus Christ, praise God, to Sister Austin, brother, uh, brother Austin. I thank the Lord for being here. I'm running for my life, praise God. Can I thank the Lord that I'm well able, praise God, to defeat the enemy today. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for delivering me, praise God. Thank God for healing my body over 30 some years of cancer, praise the Lord. I thank God for growing my hair, praise the Lord. I thank God for giving me a new body. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for the victory today. Hallelujah. I thank God. On one side of the corner there was a, a, a group of people, they was uh, Presbyterian. And on another side, a group of people, they was uh, Methodist. And on another side, it was Church of God in Christ. And on another side, it was House of Prayer. And I was just standing on the corner, I was just telling them to come, to come. You know, I was letting them know that, that they want you know, listen to the uh, right thing, praise God. And one man, he, he came up to me and he asked me, he said, uh, do you think that uh, Presbyterianism, do you think that they are God? And I told him, I said, look, ain't but one church of God, and that's the house of prayer. And I told them that. And I told them in the Bible, God said that my house shall be called the house of prayer. Praise God for all people. You know, and I was letting him know that. He said, do you think church of God in Christ? You know, I was just letting him know. I said, look, I said, if you want to be delivered, and if you want to be free, I said, you just come to this little white house, praise God. And I said, you can't miss it, praise God. I began to start telling him the direction. Cause he didn't know which way to go. But I just thank the Lord for, you know, just giving me to give him direction, which way to go. This was a dream that I had. And I just thank the Lord that I gave him the right answer, praise God. You know, there's so many people, they wishing, you know, they trying to look for a place to go, but they don't know which way to go. And the people, you know, that's in the church, they got them so messed up, they don't know which way to go. Amen. But I just thank the Lord for the us on the day. I thank God for binding the devil. You know, the devil had me listening to other people saying, Church of God and Christ, they right. Presbyterian, they right. But I thank the Lord that now I know who I am in Him. Right. Now I know what is the true word of God. Now I know what I'm standing on, praise God. Now I know for myself, you know, who Jesus is. And I know that Brother Austin, he is a man of God. I just thank the Lord. To help me, praise God, I wouldn't be helped today. You know, I'll still be out there on drugs, praise God. I'll be still, you know, doing everything that I used to do in the world. But, you know, I thank God that I'm sitting up under the word of God. Right. You know, what the word of God is saying, you are the word. You know, if you sit up under the word of God, it will cleanse you. It will sanctify you. It will make you holy. And I Children, I thank God for my family. I thank God for my mother. You know, I just thank God for all things. I thank God for not destroying our city. You know, I thank the Lord. I praise God that He keeps the Mississippi River calm. I just thank Him. I thank Him. He don't open up the earth, praise God, and swallow us down. You know, I just thank the Lord for the blood of Jesus. at me. But I bind him in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You know, I'm standing on the word of God. And if it had not been for Brother Austin, Sister Austin giving me that word, I wouldn't know the word. You know, and I just thank God for the I'm going to say this. Tell me, Jean and her, praise God. She told me about it. I did not find out. <laughs> she tell me about it. I want to pick them up one day. Praise God. They hid from me. <laughs> praise God. They was they was peeping out the curtain. They didn't want, you know, I told them that I was coming to pick them up, but they had went out and, you know, had a party that night. And they thought I was going to stay in the van. <laughs> praise God. I kept blowing. I kept blowing. I said, yeah, they in there hiding. 
Praise the Lord. And I got the bed with a knock on the door. And here she comes, here she comes. Praise God. I said, I knew you'd open that door. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And they, they didn't want to come out and kept on. They thought I was going to go away. Praise God. So uh, they decided to open the door. They said that they, um, what you said? You said, Diane, you said that. We're not going today. Yes, you will. Y'all going to the body. Y'all going to the church today. And she made us get ready. She made us get ready. She hoped us got ready. And I was so glad she did. Praise the Lord. The Lord delivered me. For the devil, so yeah, we want them so we got to go to hell yeah, and deal with right, them. Praise right. the Lord. And then we have to do by our brother and sister. We see them in need. Praise God. Go in the house and deal. Praise the Lord. I never been shamed. Praise God. I'm a chain at all. And she ain't got nowhere. So where would you go last night? Praise the Lord. <laughs> she said she said I done. She didn't know what to do. Praise the Lord. Come on, sister. He said, but I didn't know that. She just told me when she came back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The scripture when the Bible says that empty into the house of God with thanksgiving and praise. I come with a praise in my heart on today to give to Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life on today. You know, I just want to thank God for being here. Praise God. Allow me to see this day. Praise God. A day that I've never seen in my life before. Praise God. I just thank God for his grace and mercy on today. Praise God. And there ain't no whole lot. Praise God. If I'm just took the same little my testimony song. Praise God. That everything that happened to me that was good. God did. Yeah. Can't nobody do good to you but Jesus. Because right. the devil do bad to you, praise God. How many believe that, praise God? The devil comes and still kill this front, praise God. But Jesus comes to me and down like I just want to show them my testimony in this song, praise God.
sing it, but you have to sing what God did. Oh, no, 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, brother. They could exercise for you. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. That was an exercise machine, bro. Oh, just got it. Praise God. That was an exercise machine. I'm going on down. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> if they, if they, if they you do, you do better. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, You know, I'm just thinking about uh, the babes and things that in Christ, hallelujah. You know, you just can't come to church one time out a month, uh, two times, seven, and you won't get no strength. See, sometimes they'll tell you, you got it, you got it, you got it, praise God. But you know, praise God, and you find out that if you stop coming to church, you start to strip and get to die. And then when you go back to the world, praise God, then when you obey in Christ, that people tell you something. Just come Lord do one miracle for you, praise God. That don't mean you got it all. Praise God. Just come the Lord show you vision. That don't mean you got it all. We got to have strength, praise God. How we go. We got to listen. Hallelujah. That when I made this for listen to the word of God. Praise God. How they didn't know everything. Praise God. I thought I did when I found when the devil hit me, I found I didn't have power. Praise God. That's what I'm to tell the truth. When I found when the devil hit me, I was walking in faith. Call myself. But when the devil got to me, I found I didn't have faith like I thought. That's right. I'm just telling the truth this morning. So we need to stay on the word of God because y'all will miss something. Praise God. I mean, we've been having revival in this place. I'm telling you, we've been having the word of God pour on out on us. Praise God. In faith, I'm telling you, we're getting that faith. We're all you praying for Katana glory. Praise God. I know. Praise God. It's been here already. Praise God. Because God has really been moving. The people that have been reaching out. But we can't get it, pray God. Don't think that we got it all, because we don't. I've been 20 some years, I don't have it all. I've been, I'm just like saying, I would shoot myself one day and found out I had lost the power. Pray the Lord. And I'm witnessing. And you know what I did? I went back and told her, give me my house back. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We, a lot of times we're going to shape ourselves. We're going to find we ain't got the power like we think we are. Right. We ain't so powerful when it's ever get through with us, bro. Appreciate you all. Pray God. Thank you, Lord, for sister. Pray God. Sister Bruce. Uh, Niece and nephew for the husband, praise God. Y'all just hang in here, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we ain't got the power like we think we got. Praise God. Lord had to let me know that. Hallelujah. God, I thought I was being bold. Hallelujah. When the devil got to me, it made me look like I was just little than anybody. Hallelujah. But I thank the Lord for letting me know this. Hallelujah. Then I, I found myself coming back now. Praise God. And I know, you know, you got to be too fast in your praying. Hallelujah. You can't, you can't come through the door another way. Hallelujah. We can't shout through the door. Hallelujah. We can't prophesy through the door. We got to come through the door with fast in your prayer. I'm with me. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a good hand.
Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> thank the Lord for being here. You know. And I thank the Lord, amen, for Jesus. Yes, thank the Lord for my husband, amen. Amen. And thank God, you know, uh, for you all. And thank the Lord for just being here. Amen. amen. And I thank the Lord for giving me, uh, the devil's been fighting over my weight, you know. As it goes. And I mean, was, he's been really talking over my weight, and I've been, um, I've been eating everything and been doing everything, gain weight, just seem like I haven't gained weight yet. And you know, I um I had I was on my job and I had got over, you know, worried about my weight. And I was on my job, then this young man walked up, he said, With your bone is telling me to till I can start all the way back over again. <laughs> and it started all the way back over again, you know, I said, now. I got looking at myself, I said, now, the devil's a lie. He's not going to worry about my weight, you know. And I thank God, you know, I've been drinking and sure I've been doing everything. I've been eating ice cream. I've been eating all kinds of ice cream during the night. I've been doing everything. You know, I ain't been gaining no weight. You know, I've been doing everything. And you know, when, when the enemy told me about something, this is a torment, man. But you know, I thank God that I'm, yeah, I'm getting over that right, that right there. But I just want to thank God for that. That thing was a torment, but now it's, uh, it's leaving me. And I thank God, you know, I was getting a ticket so much. It seemed like I was uh, getting a ticket. It seemed like every few weeks or every two weeks. So I was just getting ticket back to back, back to back. And I think that I was getting out maybe like, I'm losing so much money, you know, to the state. You know, I started praying, started talking to the Lord. I said, now, Lord, this got to be the devil. You know, I said, Lord, you're going to have to bind Satan. Before I get in my car, I started fleeing the blood of Jesus against the law enforcement. And I want to testify about this, how one day, you know, this this uh, police was just standing in the middle of the street, and I just passed by. He just turned around, just came running after me. And I know I want to speed him. And, you know, I just turned over. We turned over, and I... Uh, he came up to him, I said, now, you know what, this is the devil, I bind the devil, I think the blood of Jesus, I'm not going to accept this stuff. And I was telling him, then he got to looking at me, he said, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm okay, I said, but I want speed, and he said, do you still take it? Book in my hand, I said, uh-uh. And I kept on praying, I kept on telling, I said, you know what, I said, God don't like ugly, I said, you stop me for no reason, I said, if he don't like ugly. And I started telling him about the Lord, he said, okay, then he said, what's wrong with you? He said, you on any kind of medication? And that just did it all, you know. <laughs> and you know, I got to think of that. I mean, really, that hurt my heart. I said, what? He said, what kind of medication you on? And just like that. And I just started fleeing the blood of Jesus. And he got back in the car and left. I said, but Lord, I thank God, you know, for buying and loss and forth because I was losing so much money to the devil. I was getting ticked back to back and back to back. You know, Satan sometimes want to make you think you're crazy when you get to talking about Jesus. But you know, when I was out in the world and I was like doing everything and saying everything and doing, you know, people be on your side then. Then when you try to live right and you try to want to live right, they think you're lost your mind. They think you're crazy then. You know that? They want to talk about you. They want to pull you down. And I thank God too high. I had, like, the devil used, I was using two of the young ladies that I worked with. On my job against me, and every time I pass by, they just giggle. You know, they just giggle upon they just giggle. And they just kept on giving. But I thank the Lord, the Lord had gave me strength, you know, not to open up my mouth. You know, through all you got to get love them. You know, the Bible said Jesus learned obedience in the thing that he suffered. And then, they, and then I passed by again, they kept on giving. They were giggling, I think, about three or four days. They kept been giggling, getting giggling. And so the last day, the devil said, Now, no, I'm telling my husband, I said, Enough is enough. And I was telling this other young man, I said, now if I take a body here while I'm side of the head, I start giggling. You know, this is the truth. I mean, it was the devil told me, I said, you said, and then they'll start giggling, you know, they'll see that you're serious. And they just kept on, kept on messing with me, kept on messing with me. I started praying. And you know, I was just, I said, no, Lord, I'm not going to do it. And the devil said, you really need to open up your mouth and let them know exactly how you feel. I said, devil, you're so light, because I know. If I open up my mouth, I know my tongue like a razor. You don't know. And I'm going to say something, I'm going to have to repent. I'm be sorry for, you know. And so I just went on. I thank God. I think about the fifth day, I went back. They weren't giggling no more. They weren't even giggling no more, you know. And I had to pray about that thing. You all pray my screen, Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. 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 Lord.
all the saints, you know. I just thank the Lord for being there. Truly, the Lord have been giving us a word. Yeah. And, you know, I just thank the Lord. I heard Sister Dye was talking about the Presbyterian and Baptist and different denominations. But, you know, I thank God that, you know, Jesus said the Spirit of the Lord in the book of Isaiah 6 and 1 is upon me because he anointed me. Right. And I thank the Lord, you know, it's about Jesus. Yeah. It's about yeah. him. Yeah. Being anointed, you know, we can be in Baptist, we can be in Methodist, we can be anywhere. But if the Spirit of God ain't there, we got to be no deliverance. Can it, preacher, that's it. The Spirit of God, the that's Spirit. it. Thank God for giving us the Spirit to be a pastor, praise God, that will feed us the truth. Yes, yeah. yes. You know, when I go out and eat, Brother Blaylock, that's right. I get two or three different types of meat, praise uh, God, out here. Yeah. I'm just telling you, praise God, I get... Brothers and sisters often go out with me sometimes. I get uh, two or three different types of vegetables and so forth. But you know what? I sit there and I eat everything. I don't waste nothing. Everything yeah, that I, I pay for, I eat it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I just thank God that when I come yeah. here, I don't care if it's a word of rebuke, yeah. if it's a word of faith, if it's a word of chastisement, yeah. whatever it is, I sit there and eat it because I know it's the word of God is good. God. I just appreciate the Lord for what he, you know, I, I thank God it's the word. You know, you can shout, you can jump, you can do everything else. But I thank God when it comes time for that word to come forth, that's what I do. I sit there and I eat. And I thank God this word has kept me. You know, the Bible says in Ephesians, I believe it's 2 and 20, we are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And Jesus Christ, he's that chief cornerstone. I'm here to tell you, if your church ain't built up on that foundation of yes, Jesus Christ, yes, yes, then the chief yes, cornerstone, yes, don't make no difference yes, what you call that you church, got praise it. God, but I thank you God. I believe we're upon that solid foundation. That's right. That's it. That's I thank God for just all that he is to me in my life. You know, I thank the Lord that he kept me these 16 years. Sitting here on this word, I thank God if it wasn't for this word. That's right. I know it's a word that's going to keep Can us it safe. Preach out. You know, the Bible said heaven and earth will pass away, but this word, word is going to stand for him. And I thank God, you know, that's that it. word is getting down on the inside. Yeah. I'm not eating all that. Yeah. 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 Praise God. And, you know, I just want to say to those that are coming, just be in church, just keep coming and sitting on this word. You yeah. know, God yeah. 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 sometimes you have to sacrifice to come to church. And yeah. I don't just eat yeah. one time. You can look at me and tell I don't eat just one time a week. But I just thank God spiritually, you know. Sometimes I have to leave work on a Tuesday night and I come to service, you know. And on Saturday and Sunday, you know. But I know as you keep coming, you keep sitting on this work. I know God is trying to help us. He's trying to bring us into a place. You know, I'm listening to so often. <laughs> And I got up, I can't sit down. But I, I was reading the book of uh, Gillian, you know, uh, the sixth chapter there. And, and God sent an angel to Gideon and, and told Gideon, he said, Fear not thou, mighty man of God. He said, Because I'm with thee. Yes. And then Gideon told him, he said, Well, Lord, if, if this be so, then why is, why is all of this befalling upon us? Why is all this coming upon us? Why is we, you know, going through all this, you know, the, the enemy was coming upon Gideon and, and the children of Israel. And I thought about, you know, the church. You know, we said we got Jesus, we said we got all of this. Then why is all these sickness, all these diseases, yeah. all these yeah. different things that are coming upon us? Somewhere, I pray God, we're not lining up with the word of God. Somewhere we, we you know, we need to go back and get that. We need to search ourselves and see why is all this coming upon the church, you know. And I just desire y'all prayer. Y'all pray for me. Pray that the Lord will keep us. I want to thank the Lord today for letting me and my twin brother see another birthday. Yeah. It's Friday, Friday, we just turned 17. Right. I want to thank him. I want to thank him for keeping us around all these years, and I hope that we live to see another birthday. Oh, okay. Praise God. Happy birthday to everybody. Happy birthday to all. Y'all make, oh, oh, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> Y'all make me remember, praise God. Wish everybody a happy birthday. We're going to sing this song. We're going to sing this song, praise God. Until we lost awesome the deal, praise God. Oh! I just want to be right. When you see me giving the blows, I just want to be right. 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 I just want to be right
for rebuking the devour off of us, Lord, and away from us. Sometimes we may look like that devour is not rebuked, but God, he's rebuked. Because if he was to get back and turn the devil loose, Lord, we would see. Father, thank you for giving these a mind. God, to press today to hear your voice. We gather in this place to hear your voice. To hear you, God, not us, but to hear you. And I pray, give us the ears to hear today. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you. Give a hand, praise, and let me see. Thank you. I want to speak to you, Father. If you missed today, we appreciate the Lord. Everybody that's got a fresh new way. We got to fight and we got to press our way. 
Uh, the Bible said it. But now the kingdom of heaven is being preached and men presses into it. We have to press into into the kingdom of God. You know, it focuses the press. Appreciate my sister. Monday, maybe God bless us some job. We won't have to cause us to miss church this time. Yeah. If, if we want to come. Mm-hmm. You don't want to come, but then you see them blessing you, be off. Amen. Maybe we'll put you to work. <laughs> you go to church, no way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> right, brother, baby. <laughs> but, uh, we got to press our way. You know? We, we are running for our life. Brother Bill, we, we see what they were standing before Jesus. We were absolutely running for our life. You know, sometimes we may not hear what God tells us, but in that day, we're going to realize we, we, was, we was in a race for our life. You know? We was absolutely and raise <coughs> our life. Little child. Maybe too late for a lot of folks. You know? But uh, at that day, you're going to realize that, that it's true to for your life. It's for your life. And I thank God for giving us this press and giving us this strive, motivating us. You know, just keep hanging in there. We're all out, faults and weakness and stuff like that. We just got a mind so that just keep hanging in there. Keep hanging in there. And I think God's going to bless us for it. When the Bible said that told us to feed and Peter, they have feed the flock of God, taking the oversight. I'm going to get to the scripture in just a moment. <coughs> feed the flock of God, taking the oversight they are. And that's what we're supposed to do, is to feed the flock of God. And you know, now nah, it takes everything. You know, when you sit down to the table, you don't just sit down and eat meat and bread. Well, sometimes we do, you know. Sometimes we just sit down and eat meat and bread, and make peas and bread, something like that. You know, sometimes I can sit down and eat a, a little green pea because we call them English peas in the country. Mm-hmm. You know, they change the name of everything. They don't call them English peas, they call them green peas. <laughs> Sweet peas. It used to be English peas. You know? Dinner used to be supper. Mm-hmm. You know, now it's, it's, it's dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We usually supper. used to be <laughs> breakfast, dinner, and supper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now it's breakfast and brunch and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now you eat dinner, you know, about 6 o'clock at evening or something like that. Yeah. It used to be supper for us. All right. Dinner. Right. Right. <laughs> now, now it's dinner. You know, they, they're fancy things up. You know? Fancy it up. That's it. Inviting you to dinner. You invite folks to dinner back then, it'd be about 12 o'clock. Yeah. In the daytime, wouldn't it? But I, I can sit down and eat some peas and cornbread, too. I like them little peas. They, they weren't my famous. I like them little peas. But normally, you know, you get peas and maybe meat and maybe some kind of starch foods. Maybe some dessert, maybe make some you know, blueberry pie or something like that. <laughs> You know, you may get lucky, you may get your blueberry pie. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> somebody didn't know what I'm talking about. That's yeah. yeah. That's yeah. yeah. You, know? you know, you get the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, Peter said, feed the flock of God. Yeah. Taking the oversight they are. So we have different things on our menu. You know? Buy us to eat the whole roll. So we have different things. If you're going to feed peoples, you have to feed them the whole roll. Everything. Everything. You, know? you just can't feed them one thing. We got to eat the whole thing. Some of them may not taste that good, and some of them may love it. But it's necessary. You know, It's necessary for us to eat the whole roll. Because this road, we're going we to raise our life. It, it's sad that some folks is going to stand before Jesus and then their souls are going to be lost when they don't have to. 
It's going to be real sad. But you know what? The sad part about it. Me and sister always talked the other night. We talked about something. Somebody about prejudice and stuff like that. You know, the sad part about it is it's going to be too late. <coughs> it's going to be too late. You can't have hate in your heart and go to heaven. Right. You can't do it. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. You can't be. You can't be racist and go to heaven. Come on, come on. It's going to be too late for folks. You know, I make a whole kind of a revelation they got about this thing. You know, God made us all with one blood. Amen. He got one heaven. You know. Folks that got hate in their heart, they ain't gonna make it. I, I may feel justified in not liking you wrong or thinking evil of you, but when I stand before Jesus, I'm gonna find out it's gonna cost me. It's gonna cost us, it ain't worth it. You know, it, it ain't worth the hate, folks. It just ain't worth it. Look, child, I don't care what they've done to you, what they'll say, but it just ain't worth it, man. Your soul means more than that. Then your pride. You may well let your pride be hurt. You know? Don't mean to do that. Those things that really hurt you, some little bones are showing or something. <laughs> you know? But it, it, it's not worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. The Bible tells us that accept our righteousness as she as seed, the righteousness of the scribe. And the Pharisee yeah, will what he say? no wise. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I, I don't see how people think they can make it in, in this day and time. He said, if our rights don't exceed the right of the scribes and the Pharisees. And Jesus criticized the most scribes and Pharisees. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he said, if it don't exceed that, then we will in no wise yes. enter in. We won't make it in. Come on, preach it. You know, to forgive folks, we got to forgive folks. And we can do that. It ain't hard. All we got to do is I forgive you. And mean it from your heart. Yes, right, yeah, right, right. Don't just say it, no. Mean it, but mean it from your heart. I forgive. We, we, we can do it. We Christian. We can do all things through Jesus Christ. Can we? we can prophesy. I mean, we can lay hands up on folks. We can see folks into this and see folks into that. And all this stuff, we can forgive. <laughs> We can forgive. But bad. Christians forgive. Mm-hmm. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because we are forgiven. Mm-hmm. We are forgiven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That same thing that flowed through Jesus has to flow through us. Mm-hmm. That same spirit. Mm-hmm. You catch a Christian that's always bitter. Mm-hmm. Puffed up and bitter. Mm-hmm. Bitter. That's bad right. spirit all the time. Yeah. That Christian ain't got the Holy Ghost. Right. Come on, preacher. Yeah. That Christian yeah. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Now you may well be honest, that's the right. Holy right. Ghost don't let you be puffed up and bitter all the time. I tell you something else, Holy Ghost don't do. Holy Ghost don't make you thank you more than somebody else. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Don't make you thank you more than somebody else. The Holy Ghost, I'm you down. The more God does for you, the more arm you get. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of Christians today, man, the more they get, the more stuff up they get. <laughs> tell it, preacher. Oh, tell it, preacher. Tell it, tell it. Tell it. <laughs> Don't make you. These are the attributes of a Christian, you know. We need to take on Jesus' attributes and ask the Lord to help us to take on his attributes. You know. I told him, I we talked to you tonight. I said, Lord, bless me to me now. I probably still wear them $79 suits. <laughs> come on, come on, preacher. It don't mean lost to me. It don't mean lost to me. It don't mean lost to me. I, well, I may even buy a suit for three, four hundred dollars, but, but it don't mean the attributes of Jesus. And we can do it. We can love one another. I don't believe you have no problem with that. I told you that. I'm glad this church and like a lot of churches got the office bigger than all the time. Amen. Into it all the time. Amen. About something. Yeah. You want to bless us, brother. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, a lot of bickering, arguing, intuitive about this and intuitive about that. You know, I know the devil comes to bring this stuff, but thank God, God give us the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. We know how to deal with stuff, you know. And ain't all this stuff going on. If there's our little body, you know, I don't even want to know about this. But, uh, but we can forgive one another. We can, right. we can, we can yes. get the Spirit of God. Take on the attributes of Jesus. A lot of times folks just like the name of being a Christian, but the attributes, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, take on the attributes of it. You know, Jesus denied himself. He was persecuted. He was talked about. Man, you let somebody lie on you. <laughs> set your own back. No good reason. Yeah, set your own back. And let that dust kind of spread a little bit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Keep me getting here about it. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. But you know what's so not? You got to forgive. You got to throw that. You know, Jerry, the, the, the lady told us that we need to close this place up and turn it into a shoe shop. <laughs> she said, but what good you don't need to turn this place into a shoe shop? You know? And, uh, Bless this out really good. I mean, to really. But you know what? Ain't nothing in my heart. Nothing in my heart. You got to get like that, brother. And this is something that I got to know. It's not that. It ain't for me to convince you that ain't nothing. That ain't got me at all. This is something going to have to be between me and God. Nothing is there. And if something is there, so strong, we got to pray that God got to get this out. Be honest with God. It's where you want. No, I told my I'd rather not come back. You know, but they come back and they want to. I can't stop it. I'd rather not come back. Just be honest. Not the hand there is hard. That's one thing we have. The Bible tells us in Psalm 15, who shall abide in that tabernacle? Mm-hmm. A lot of times we don't speak the truth in our hearts. That's right. Oh, no, I'm not. Stand up, Brother Blaylock. I grab Brother Blaylock, man, I love you. I love you, man. I mean, it's talking stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't be more loving than that. All right. All right. All right. No. Yeah. Tell it, preacher. All right. Just got that to the back. Make it play. Make it play. Make it play. Make it plain. I, I, I knew one statement about it. Brother Bill, I kind of liked you. You made me make that statement here. Yeah. You so go. And I said, I love you. <laughs> I, I, I did. I, I was yeah. kind of trying to favor with him. I, I didn't jump up him. I love him. I mean, I love him as a brother, but you know, just, I'm just speaking what? You know? Sometimes folks say, oh, I love you. Oh, I really love you. Man, don't be more love you than nothing. <laughs> Ready to knock you out? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's up. I know anybody here never done that, so I ain't gonna ask nobody. <laughs> but the fruit of the Spirit. Jesus, the world gonna know you, my disciples, and the love you have one for another. You know, it, it makes you pray for one another. It don't make you, don't make you be a fool unless you just want to. So that she told me yesterday, she said, uh, she used to hit me up for money. You know, and I, I help out. She told me yesterday, she called me one time, wants some money. I told her, I'm sorry, can't help you no more. She cried, I told her, yes, don't worry about them tears, I just can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she laughed about it yesterday. But you see them drug guys want their money, they pay them together, together, she want to get some money. Pay them drug guys off. She said, I didn't give her that money, she went home, she put crap all the way. <laughs> she, she got the prayer, asked God, Lord, and said, so them drug guys got together, all of them came over there, want their money. You know? But she's praying. 
I get the hood to pray. She turned me down all day, you know. She couldn't turn me off no more. It's out here, folks, but there's a limit. That's right, preacher. That's right, preacher. That's right, preacher. Yeah. I got a blow right now. And I hope my mom gonna be offended when I say that. I ain't no, I ain't no family. You know, I know there's a son with my brother. But uh, if I can't be on the yeah, I can't be on nobody else. Amen. Amen. I just, just cut him off. He's 60 years old. Yeah. And whenever you hear from him, you want something. Amen. See, he got next to you that day. When you're so serious, he got him back into my, you know, the dog gave me two weeks to live. I got cancer. Oh, man, don't be telling this stuff. <laughs> don't be saying this stuff. Man. Yeah. Two. I, I had to pay that much to him. So it's caught him some way. He doesn't need love. This man don't need no loving. <laughs> so it's caught him, he'll, he'll get your heart, and when you know him, man, he'll, he'll rip you off. <laughs> man, he better not find you being sympathetic with him. He's up on that, my brother. He's going to ease up on you, man. He's going to take you. Yeah. That's right, Willie. He's going to take you. Yeah. And I'll tell him, he said not that. Don't make no difference. Since the truth here, he'll sit there and laugh. He might not really like me, Mr. Drew. But the help folks, and I try to have the spirit of God in the help folks, but. When folks want to do stuff like that, I believe he just cut them off. Let them make it on their own. They want to think that they ain't got to wait and let them make it. When they're working, making money, they don't think about you. You know? They gave me appreciation, you know. He is out working all week. <coughs> I see him going to walk up to my mama. Want something to put in it? Give me for appreciation. And here I done saved this high so many times. I went up there to Lemoyne Garden, hot as Lemoyne Garden was. Went up there at 12 o'clock at night to take money up there to get the guys off his back. Carried money over there to him, met him over there on Lauderdale and Parkway, carried money over there. You know? So you, you know you go a limit and, and then folks may say, well, you ain't got God love. Yeah, you got God love, but you don't throw God. God said, I'll make you a steward. Amen. We're the stewards of God's mind. We are stewards. We're supposed to be stewards. This is God, man. We're supposed to be a stewards of it. He want want us to be a wise steward. Amen. You know? Don't be taken in by everything. Amen. Don't take this money and throw it away, brother. Amen. Put it in a bag with holes in this pig, I said. But the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, brother, brother, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Yeah. Helps you. That's how you know, folks. Corinthians, first minute, tell us in 13 that it. Though we speak with the tongues of men and angels, and have not chatted, we ain't nothing. Amen. You're sounding bright. That's, That's, That's what he said. That's what he said. You're tingling symbol. That's right. <laughs> love is God. God said God is love. Uh huh. Amen. Yeah. Yes. And you can have Amen. love, but don't let folks condemn you. Amen. And so you ain't showing no love. Amen. You know? Yeah, it is. That, that's going on rebound. It ain't got no love. You, you can have got love, and that don't mean you got to. We, we are supposed to be submitted to God. Amen. You know? And we got to be led, try us to be led by God. Mm hmm. Yeah, right, kind of ministry. You don't do anything with God. I preach you, preach you. Try to develop an ear to hear what God tells you. Right. You know, and not what people say, not what they think. Amen. And now what they say, you better try to develop a year if you were God's Because you, you, you are held accountable, folks. I'm not held accountable for what God give you. And nobody else is held accountable for what God give you, but you yourself. Yeah. And, and, and what you're going to try to train yourself to hear what God tells you. 
So meet yourself to him. So that, that is, there's no way I said to listen to you. And I'm not just praying, I'm not just saying that you can't tell me, you know what I'm saying? You know? If I begin to sit up there and listen, and not try to go as God lead me, brother friend, man, what kind of student am I? You know? And anybody that got to work for God, call for God, they need to get the same. Man, because God's going to hold you accountable. But the love of God in our hearts, the Spirit of God, Jesus living in us. You ever saw folks that be like they mad all the time? Amen. Ain't never got a good spirit. Always negative. You know, everybody says it's negative, it's down, it's negative. And how's the Holy Ghost living that? Yeah. We don't just need the church oh, theory, church religion. We need the Holy Ghost religion. Yeah. We need the Spirit of God. Yeah. So we can repent. Matter of fact, I repent the name of all of it. If I spend you through the word of God, don't, don't worry about that. That don't need no repentance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about person. I'm talking about flesh. I'm talking about my flesh. Yeah. And sometimes we may feel it both in the flesh, you know. But I, I repent it. And that's just forgive me for it. Not be intentional, but it's just uh, sometimes we just miss the mark. Let me speak to you for a few minutes here. It's just one o'clock. <coughs> Now they have a uh, <laughs> friends and family day prayer house. I think about three or three thirty this evening. And uh, everybody invited they want to go. Three or three thirty, I'm not sure just exactly what time. But Brother Bray, like I appreciate the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Eat the flock. Yes. See, I'm not up here to put on a show. Scott, I'm not here to put on a show. Oh, yeah. Man. I know sometimes they may be a little dull or dry. That's all right. I don't mind that. All right, man. Yeah. I'm not here to put on a show. I'm here to try to feed. Amen. All right. You know, we yeah. pray and we yeah. asking God, Lord. Ooh. And Brother Bill, with all my heart. Yeah. Yes, God bear me witness today with all my heart. I want God to direct me. Yeah. When I get up here, sometimes I may get off, you know. But when I get up here, I'll be trying to submit myself to God. I'll be afraid, God. Yes. Because I don't need to hear what I got to say. All right. I don't need to hear my words. My words are not going to help me. Right. Right. Thank you, Lord. It's not going to help me. Now, listen, it's no way you're going to get up there. If God leads you, there's no way God's going to tell you everything to say. And you remember? God just going to have to lead your mind. Lead your spirit. That's just like prophecy. I can start right now and prophesy. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, it, people prophesy. God, if God put that spirit of prophecy, they're not going to give them, they can't remember. God, God ain't going to tell them every word to say. You know where you're going to remember stuff like that. If the spirit of prophecy come upon you, and you open your mouth, and God will oh, speak. Speak through you. If you know the word of God. And you can prophesy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it ain't that God telling you. There's, there's no way you, you can remember everything God tell you. If God told you that. Told you through a prophecy, you know. You know what it is, says God? It's you submit yourself. You open your mouth. And the Holy Ghost begin oh, to put yes. the yes, words yes, to speak. Yes, 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 man. And we pray, God, let us speak your words. Yeah. Let us speak your words. Not ours, because I need help. I need help. I pray, God, and, and Brother Baylor, I'm trying to, God, let me be, I'm trying to look at myself as a tomb. Nothing but a tomb. Nothing but a vest. Yes, yes. And you listen to me. Nothing but a tomb. You know, that hammer can't brag on itself because you drew a nail with, with it. Mm -hmm. 
That ranch can't brag on itself because you turn a boat with it. It's nothing but a tune. So now I've been asking God, God, give me that mentality. Give me that, give me that mind. Put that spirit in me that I know I'm nothing but a tool. And let your will be done in me. Let me speak your words. Minister to me. Promise out to me. And let me speak your words. Brother Bailey, like I'm at the place I know good and well that what I conjure up and what I say is ain't going to do me no good and ain't going to do nobody else no good. No more spirit said that the eyes come that the Son of Man must be glorified. I believe we are at that hour. Men have taken the glory. Men have been lifted up and men have, have taken the glory. But I believe we have to arm out what the song man must be lifted up. Amen. Must be glorified. Jesus must be, must be glorified. Yes. Brother Charles, I'm, a, I'm just somebody that God had mercy upon and called me. Yes. Yes. And I try to submit myself to him. Yes. And to speak, but boy, it's me. And I appreciate y'all testifying about you know, the, the word, the ministry here that helps you. And I, I appreciate that. But it, you know where this comes from? I was a drunk. I was a nightclub hop. Well, nothing good in me, brother. Stay out all night. Yes, 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 yes. Until Jesus came in my life. There was one around there. I used to be out with him. And his dad. We made it there. They stayed out all night. Nothing like that. I have, have found some of them gin while they have stuff on the couch and stuff. We drank. <laughs> And we roll around a few times and drink. But you know the devil, when you're unsafe, the devil don't care. Yeah. Who you run with? Yeah. 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 Both of y'all got that same spirit. Yeah. You don't care with the old or the young. You don't care with the about that. But I was a drunk and I was a nightclub pop. I stayed out all night. I got up out of my bed and wasn't nothing good to me. Yes. <laughs> nothing. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. When I become to be anything at all, it's when Jesus came into my life. When a difference began to be made in my life, it's when Jesus came into my life and turned things around. Then that's when I come to be anything at all. John tells us there at 15, Jesus said, man, I'm the vine and ye are the branches. Without me, he can do nothing. Brother, where are the us preachers ever get to the place? That we realize that without Jesus, we are not. We better pray to Jesus and ask him to direct us. We better pray to God and ask him to help us. We better pray to God and ask him to give us a word. Thank God that's going to help and not think that our ability can do it. I don't care what kind of ability you think you got. Let me tell you something. The Bible says the yoke will be destroyed. Hallelujah. Because of the anointing. Yes. Yes. So that's because of the anointing. The yoke is going to be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. Yes. So it's sometimes we you know people speak well. Brother Baylock talked me about that a while ago. You know how a lot of these people they can speak well, they're very educated, you know. But then that, 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 that don't work. That don't work. That don't work. This face is moving. You got some of them folks are bound themselves. Bound. I'm saying. That don't work. This takes the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You said Jesus to break these holes, to break these shackles. Not how well we speak and how we place our words and how we appeal to people. That, that, don't, that don't help. It's the anointing. That breaks the heart. It's Jesus. It's getting in there. I don't care if you talk flat. I don't care what you say. As long as you can get Jesus in it. As long as Jesus in it. Oh, Jesus in it. Yeah. And that's what we will all be looking for. Amen. We'll pray this morning. God, give us a word. Oh, yes. Give us a gospel that men that are raised up the bow of their head, a gospel, oh, a word, yes. a true word. Thank God that are healed and crippled. Hey. Yes. Hey. Healed and crippled. You tired of seeing these folks on the street talking to yes. 
Lunatic, you see more lunatics now than you ever see in your life, don't you? It's gone. Walking up the street, talking to themselves. Some of them cause that preaching and just, just lunatics. We need a word. We need the anointing. I mean, with many, many, and I, I'm the first one to admit, God give me the anointing. Oh, yes. That breaks the yoke. Look at all the churches in me. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look at all the truth in Memphis. Look at all the prophets we got in Memphis and the apostles and all the, this is come over here, God, and God gave me this word, and God told me this, and God raised me up this, and look at all, look, look at the stuff we got going on in Memphis, and all this word we got, and all these prophets. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. I'm asking God, God, give us the anointing that'll break the yoke. Give us the anointing. Folks can't get saved. Watch out. They need some of them. Folks come to say, if you just come, don't ever have no man just say, yes, yes. Don't let them come under conviction. Hallelujah. And I'm asking God, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. We need help. Folks needs to be saved. Folks needs to be helped. And without Jesus, he said, you, you can do nothing. We can do nothing, brother. Feed the flock of God. We may not go like other folks and, and get a certain way of going, by him, but he said, feed the flock of God. Sometimes, brother, we ain't getting fed, Jerry. I mean, sometimes we go to church and we hear a good sermon, but man, he said, feed the flock. They not just preach a good sermon, but feed the flocks, give them something to eat. Yes, yes. Feed them, give them something to eat. Thank God, it ain't got to be all on a high level, but give them our word. Give them something they can chew on. Give them something that'll get down on the inside. Hallelujah. It needs to be. Maybe I need to get to the scripture here. I'm putting something out of sleep. Oh, man. <coughs> this is what we need. It's kind of on the same line, though. So we we'll get off. How many know we need? <coughs> Listen for First Corinthians one, sir. Now give me about forty minutes. I may let y'all live in there. I may, may I don't know. But you know, <coughs> listen to this. Oh, First Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same spirit. But it has, you know what that'll do is good? We all sought the Lord for his will. Amen. I was telling them, when I preached the breakfast on the other side of my family, you, know, you got a lot of ministers raising up and getting church and stuff like that. But one brother just opened up his church yesterday and then, if you ain't got some patience and God ain't giving you, you might not leave it alone. Because I'm telling you, in, 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 where we're at now, if you ain't got any call and you give that patience, get in there and work with folks, you're going to be doing everything and everything and letting everything come in there to build your church up. To build your church. God ain't giving you that. 
You, you think this is something easy? It ain't, it ain't easy. Jay, when you try to obey God. It's not easy at all. <coughs> I should have had a gospel preaching sister. I can preach faith. I can preach um, uh, encouragement. I can preach along that line and prosperity. I can preach it because I can, I can just stick with that and preach it. And Sister Carter and, and could have built an a audience of cool. But the devil would help me alone. But he said, we should speak the same thing, be perfectly journeying together. And, and we would just set our mind on, on God's will. It wouldn't be no. And let God talk to us. Amen. Well, Baylor asked me about, he said, some of us talk about Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And in Jesus' name, I, thought, I don't know what God going to do, but I know what Peter told us. Amen. God take him to heaven or what he let him be lost. Some of the things, you know, I think about it, have my opinion about it, you know, but I said, that's up to God. But I know Peter did tell him what to do to be saved. Amen. Amen. And after, before that, after that, nobody ever baptized. They all baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because Jesus opened up their understanding. Amen. And Peter went out with the gospel. We need to speak the same name. Amen. Listen, let me get on here. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Cleo, how do you pronounce that word, that there are contingents among you. They are robbery. That's what Paul said. Robbery among you. Now this I say that every one of you say I am a Paul. And I am Apollo and I of Cephas and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. And I baptized also the household of Stephen. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. But Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom or word, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. And that's what happened today, the cross of Christ. It's being made none effect. <laughs> Wisdom of words. And, and, and the cross of Christ, it, it, it's, it, it's been made of none effect. That's no effect. That Christ, that cross experience, it's been none effect now. You know, we can't get in there and preach that old time gospel, that old cross gospel. All right. yes. That delivers you, that saves you, that helps you, that hey, you now is words of wisdom. And I ain't got nothing to get people going to school, to, but you don't go to school to learn how to preach. Come on, preacher. That's something that the Holy Ghost preacher. does. Hey, yeah. Go to school to learn how to preach. That's something that the Holy Ghost do. All right, yeah. <laughs> Tell it, preacher. Holy Ghost. Teach you that. That's right. Yes, it does. You know, that ain't something you learn how to do. The Holy Ghost teaches you that. The Holy Ghost. Matter of fact, you can't learn how to preach the gospel no way. That's right. The Holy Ghost teaches you, Brother Fred. Every Sunday, the Holy Ghost is supposed to teach you. You can't learn how to preach. The Holy Ghost won't be speaking out you. That's right. Holy Ghost is supposed to be speaking through you. It ain't something you learn. How are you going to learn how to do this? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost may make you weep all seven. The Holy Ghost may make you pray all seven. The Holy Ghost may get in there and you may praise God all seven. It's the, it's the Holy Ghost. It's the direction. It's the leading of the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost. It ain't something you learn how to do. This is the Holy Ghost that ministered to you. You know? You know, we have a prayer, scripture reading song. I told us all, you get me away to serve. Oh, I forgot to have scripture. Let's listen to it. Let's <laughs> oh, forget about that. If you haven't got the scripture reading, forget about it. Go on with serve, you know. Don't try to go back. Sometimes we get in a position of, in a habit. If I ain't falling this way, I'm falling that way. And we try to keep it up. You know? If you don't have a scripture, you know what about it. Oh, right. You know? So the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He said the cross of Christ has made none of faith. 
Yes. With man wisdom. Brother Banks, no, I'm not talking against education. I believe folk need to be. Like y'all men need to stay in school. Y'all people need to stay in school. Get your education. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I wish something could happen to that. Yeah. Amen. 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 I've been praying, brother. Baby. We got to yeah. do something. Y'all don't talk about it. Yeah. They need help. Yeah. We need to stop them before they get there. Yeah. yeah. Head them off before they get there. Yes. Something has to be done. Yeah. You know? And they're headed down that wrong. Oh, thank you, Lord. So I encourage you, young folks, stay in school. He said, well, Jesus may come on. But that's how I stay there anyway. Let him catch in school. Yeah. You know, it'll be coming before you get out doing baby to education. That's all right. Get your education. Love Jesus, you know. But but you don't learn how. You don't go to school to learn how to preach. The Holy Ghost Amen. speaks stinking. Brother Mike. And this may not seem right, but this is true. Jesus said for us to open our mouth. Brother Bailey, open our mouth. Sometimes you know it's a lot of time, most times. I, I have something written down, but we don't get to it because we pray that God should direct us. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. we feel like he may be putting good messages. Yeah. But brother Charles, but it's the Holy Ghost. You, you yield yourself to the Holy Ghost. You yield yourself to God. You know? Don't ever bite you more than what you hear. Don't ever bite you something come on, so preacher. good. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Do this. You let the Holy Ghost come. Come on, preacher. You let Jesus come. Come on, preacher. Don't ever bite that you. you. You know, you, you, you walk with that proud spirit, that proud spirit, and minister with the spirit that like you know stuff and know the way. You need to let the Holy Ghost. You know, we got a brother in trouble right now, needing finance. Man, they had churches set up all over the states, different states, and, and, and riding them big Greyhound buses, owning Greyhound buses, and all this stuff. Now they're looking for a finance camp. Someone talked to me and said, we're going to do a thing, won't you? Will you come down and help? Now, little us now. <laughs> you let the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. Now, look, if I don't talk to you, let me talk. <laughs> Amen. 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 You know, ain't got no be wearing no eight, nine hundred dollars shoes and boots. Amen. And the church is taking care of it. Amen. 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 You know, ain't got no business going and spending the money to church. Give me on horses and saddles. Hallelujah. You know that? Holy Ghost will direct you better. Amen. You let the Holy Ghost direct I got good sense. I got a ministry to look at. All right. All right. I'm not finna go and even though they bless me, I ain't gonna put no eight, nine hundred dollar boots on my foot. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 You know? Well, don't let you watch out for your ministry. Come on, preacher. Don't let you deny yourself. You mean think you 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 think you some somebody think you some in the Lord that let you hit rock bottom? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 preacher. All right. No. But you let the Holy Ghost leash you. Let the, don't ever. That's because you can speak good. Don't ever make you something. Oh, yeah. You know that the, the the thing they have in the day at Prowls of Deliverance, they had a pride <laughs> breakfast, <laughs> and they had asked me to minister. Practically, some some kind of way got kind of crossed up and it had blood gone. <laughs> Somebody said that he said he was gonna be preaching practice. So I called brother, I said, we need to get this straightened out. Because he said he's preaching. And so the brother told us, I tell you what, we, we got a family friend they coming up, so man, we let him do the breath and, and you do the family friend. They said, you're gonna have more people there, man, probably crying. I told him, no. Let me preach that breakfast. I don't need that crowd. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable this breakfast. I said, I can't preach the breakfast, then just get me out of it all together. I'm not missing all. I'm not going to. I, I, I don't mind crowds, but you, you got to be careful. You don't want to let me have this. Or more people going to be there. Don't want to be. I don't want my word to be served. 
You start wanting to get in the thing like this because more people are going to see you and stuff like that, you better be careful. Yeah. The Holy Ghost has got to direct us. Yeah. And you got to keep your guards up. Thank God for the proud spirit to get a hold of you. A self exalted spirit to get a hold of you. Before you know it, you got to keep your guards up. Yeah. <clears throat> Brother Balak, I'm a vessel. I'm a tool. Don't care what folks say about me. I don't care what folks say how this word is and what they do. I am a tomb. That's all I am. You see, I want God to move us, brother. Friend. I want to give him the honor, really, sincerely, honestly, give him the honor and give him the praise. It's not pretending like I'm giving him the honor and receiving myself, but really, actually, giving him the praise and the honor. Nothing but a drunk that been saved. That's all right. That's what we need to get that mind. God blesses you with something. Man, don't get the big head. Oh, I didn't do that. And God bless you with a hundred thousand dollars. Don't get the big head. Thank you, got something. Then the Lord will blow on it. Oh, you know it. You're right, you're right there. But nothing. You know? So he said, you made the cross of Christ and understand. By your wisdom of words. Brother, brother, child, we need something that's sank in our heart. We need a, a, a word from God. Maybe a plain word like this. A common word. It don't make no difference. As long as it comes from God. As long as God puts approval upon us. And we got we to be careful, Brother Blake. Man, folks start to pat you on the back and encourage you. Amen. And pretty soon, man, you really think you're something. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Then you walk in a place, and I, I told you all, they want me to sit on that pulpit today. I forget it because I'm sitting out there in the audience. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> they want to try to force me, I just go back home. <laughs> I told you all, man. <laughs> But we need to have something when we get up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I want to say it. Have something when you get up. And, and, and Sister Matt, we don't, we, we don't be very careful. Men's and women's alike. We begin to think that we're something. When you walk in, everybody's going to see you coming in. I said, brother, over on Thursday, he said, man, I want to lead in prayer. But I don't know, man. I, Man, I, I'm a church. I want to do something. I said, okay, then. I said, we'll talk to Brother Saul. Yeah, let me go. Leave his friend. He said, look, let me go back to the back. Man, he called him strolling. And sure enough, we had to open the service. We're going to have Brother Murray leave his friend. He come from the back, man, the back door. So that's what we had more hard in shoes on, it was hitting, but you were hitting. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Brother Freeman, we just laughed. You know, we just looked at each other laughing. Because he already told us what he wanted to do. You know? And then he had to go down to the jailhouse and pray. He had to write to the little girl. He was saying, You need the Holy Ghost. He admitted he did. Of the Holy Ghost. Be like, and I'm careful about that. You hear me? I rather take the Lord's seat up. Always. You got to keep yourself. As we are students of God, and men of God, and women of God, you got to be careful about yourself. For man, pride to get a hold of you. You see that acting like what? The cross of Christ. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm let me read on a little bit more. Man, I hope y'all receive this here. I hope y'all receive this here. Yes. For the preaching of the cross to them that perish are foolishness, but unto us which I say it is the what? The power of God. See, this is the power of God. The cross is the, to us, the same is the power of God. This is what 
Brother Hart, it's the power of God. Us that'll be that'll see. Them that are not saved, it may be foolishness to them, but to us, man, I like this. Heart, I like this kind of preaching. I like this because it does something for me. This helps keep my spirit intact. This helps me realize why I'm and what I what I'm supposed to be, brother Blaylock. Nothing but a two, nothing but a vessel. That's all we. We ain't nothing special. I mean, it, 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 in that way. Now, I, I was telling my lady at Queens. And, King says, Dad, she's a queen. <laughs> and princess. She said, the devil's lying. I said, that's good. Man, man. Sister Rosie, you know I'm a queen. Oh, man. Sister Rosie, well, I hardly have been a queen. <laughs> I said, well, I'm a king, bitch. <laughs> I'm a queen, I have a king somewhere. <laughs> I said, I'm a king, too. <laughs> Before you know it, man, we had kings and queens around this place, princes. So the Bible said we had kings and queens. Man, man. 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 We are somebody in God, but God wants us to keep ourselves. God exhort us. The Lord, is, you know, he's not, not going to exhort us in the flesh, folks. Listen to me. But he ain't exhort us in the spirit. God, he ain't exhort no flesh. He's not praising no flesh. I'm a bishop. You owe me an apology. 
The brother said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know your position. So I just called your brother. He said, but, he said, but I, don't, I don't feel like I owe you an apology. He said, because, man, the king. So I call him by his first name, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. 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 He said, the king, my savior. He said, I call him by his first name. I don't call him Bishop Jesus. I don't call him Apostle Jesus, Prophet Jesus. So I call him by his first name, Jesus. I said, man, I thought I had a thought. Wish I had a thought of something like that. <laughs> you know what won't be exalted? Flesh. Flesh. When folk run around, I want you to call them bishop and call them apostle and call them prophet and stuff like that. Ain't nothing but a bunch of flesh. And God don't exalt flesh, you know. He exalts the spirit. He exalts that man, his word. He exalts. Man, if I'm up here a minute, then God will take this word. Sometimes it may penetrate folks' heart and it may stir folks and God will elevate this word. But thank God, outside, man, God ain't interested in my flesh. Matter of fact, He tell you to crucify your flesh and die dead. Crucify that old proud spirit. Crucify that old exalted spirit. Crucify that stuff and die dead and let the Holy Ghost, let it speak to you. Let the Holy Ghost live in you. Let the Holy Ghost rule you. Let the Holy Ghost direct you. I'm determined. Brother Peter, I am determined. You hear me? I am determined to make it with God. If God's going to bless anybody, I'm determined here to bless me. Amen. And God has blessed us. But sister, you're not even going to make it. A lot of those men want to be, well, I'm a prophet this, I'm an apostle of this, and I'm this, and I'm that. And the number flesh. You don't need no title on your name. That's right. Come on, bro. My sister. That's good enough. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, man, what you call me? I said, Brother Austin, it's good enough. Amen. Some call me Reverend Austin. Brother Saul told me one day I went over there to the church. He said, Hey there, prophet. <laughs> I heard about it. I said, No, nah, uh. If you heard something, you'd hear from me. <laughs> I said, I ain't no prophet. I said, I never claim that stuff. Amen. Somebody ever told that stuff, they just take that stuff. Mm-hmm. But I ain't never claim that stuff. Mm-hmm. We ain't got no prophets on. Mm-hmm. Very few prophets that we got today. Mm-hmm. They, don't even, they don't even know the apostle doctor. Mm-hmm. They're prophets and apostles. They don't even follow the apostle doctor. Mm-hmm. You can't be a prophet. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. You can't be the fool of gospel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe you didn't find the apostle ministry and say, you can't be in the full gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Baylon, how can you be in the full gospel? You may, God may take you, you may have some more knowledge about, you may come out of Baptist, you know, you have a little more knowledge than the other, and, and you call yourself a fool. If you didn't find the apostle doctrine, you're not in the full gospel. Right. <laughs> but he said that, that the, Paul said that we make that Christ, the cross of Christ, not a thing. Because we are. We are so, what is it, articulate, brother? <laughs> Some of the words I tell my youth, I really don't know what they mean. Sound <laughs> 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 like they may fit there, what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and, and around or somebody. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We are so. And the cross has been another thing. Man, the cross healed you. Oh, yeah. You can hear yeah. us at the cross yeah. when I saw it. Yes. Yeah. We'll preach this old cross, brother. Oh, yeah. Preach this God. Worry and, and forget about ourselves. Forget about, oh, man, everybody. Oh, this is going to fall. Brother Ben, I, well, we need something solid. Some people, don't, I, I told you up there. I, somebody said, well, I, I had to go somewhere where people can preach on my level. I said, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, 
You need to play in the simple. Solid gospel. Man. If it ain't solid, now if it ain't solid, listen, if it ain't solid, the devil gonna destroy it. Amen. Maybe just a little more. Man, it's good to be here. Amen. I tell y'all, this is this is better than that blueberry pie. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 19. For it is written, I will destroy what? The wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. I'm going to destroy the wisdom of the wise. That's the kind of thing that this old word of wisdom ain't going to mean nothing. Amen. If we are not anchored in God, if we are not anchored in the Holy Ghost, if we are not speaking by the Spirit of God, if our words ain't coming from the throne of God, it ain't going to be, it's going to be destroyed, ladies and gentlemen. The child is going to be destroyed. We in a, I know in a high society, my folks likes to be intelligent. Folks like to speak intelligent. And folks like to say stuff. But this ain't got no place for the God without the anointing. It ain't no place. Amen. 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 I'll tell you something about the anointing. Something about the anointing. It kind of pull away from that stuff. Look, look, let me be on that. Look, listen to this. Verse 20. Where? Where? Where is the wise? Where is the scribes? Where is the dispute of this world? Has not God made foolishness what? Where's the wisdom of this world? He's not made foolishness the wisdom of this world. Some folks too wise for God, brother John. Sure is. Amen. Listen, forever that is the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It, it pleased the God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. He said, by wisdom, the world knew not God through their own wisdom. And that's what we got now. The world don't right. know God through right. their own wisdom. Right. Wisdom eliminate God. You know? It's foolishness. Preaching the gospel, it's foolishness. Speaking up, talking what I'm doing, man, foolishness. I ain't got no wisdom. I'm not speaking by wisdom. I, 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 well, the wisdom and it's foolishness to the higher up, right. to the prudent, to the wise. It's foolishness yeah. to them wrong. But this word God. is selling heaven. Yeah. 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 This word will keep you in a storm begin to yeah. run through his own sin. God begin to shake the earth. Wait, right, quick, I tell you, people in. And then they need the God. Thank you. You know what? I've been praying. Brother, I said, God, let me stand for you because the day come, we're going to need somebody to stand for us. Right, yeah. Man. yeah. Man. Praise God. You know? It may sound foolish. Let me tell you yeah. something. The day is coming, you're going to need Jesus to stand for you. Amen. 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 You're going to need him to stand for you. You need to stand for him now. You may think you're doing good, praying good. You may think everything's all right, but if the day is coming, you're going to need Jesus to stand for you. And I pray, God, help me to stand for you now because the day, Brother Bailey, the day is coming. I don't care how well we're doing now. I don't care if trouble's in another nation, the day is coming. There's going to be nobody else to turn to, Jerry. God has got this thing set up. There is going to be nowhere else to go, nobody else to turn to. What are we going to do in a day when they got there ain't nobody to turn to? And we don't have Jesus. We have not stood for Jesus. Oh, God, just let me stand with you. Oh, let me stand with you. Got off my exercise machine the other night. Man, we sitting there talking to my son. My son down, he talked about a couple of hours. We were talking about getting saved and some older son. And stuff. We're talking about how God had blessed him, how God had kept him. And we're talking about how it'd be nice if all my brothers and us, if we would just follow you, you know, get with you and just, you know, just follow you and be like you. And he just come up and start talking. You know. And uh, I, we've been a, Example, how we taught him, stuff like that. He just said, get that, I just, 
give God thanks, begin to thank God for all this stuff that He had done for us. Help us and protect us and stuff. And I got off of the exercise machine, I was sitting there talking, and that devil hit my head. Right down to me. Man, with the pain made by that long, it looked like somebody was sticking a needle in my head. Man, it was so severe. And they tried to talk, I grabbed my head and it just started, you know, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. I told Susan, come here and lay hands on me. I said, you get in trouble, you're going to call somebody. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Tell it, preacher. Right. Yeah. That's right. If you was around, I, I yeah. said, come here. Uh, Rakisha, lay hands on me. Mm -hmm. You heard enough to believe God. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Bible said, two. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. laid hands on me. Then that's when you have a stroke. And then he says, a blood vessel busted in your head. Mm -hmm. Stop telling me stuff. That's him. Yeah. That's, that's, him. Him. that's what he do. That's him. I'm about ready for my son to leave now. I'm ready to get down to business. <laughs> but I couldn't run him off because he was talking about getting saved and all this stuff. So I just sat there. And, 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 and so long, no, it distracted me. Because when I looked at her, she was looking at me to see how I was feeling, you know. And uh, <coughs> so we, got the, we got a medical book. She got it. She was reading through. And she started talking about the aneurysm. I said, how does that work? I started to find out how the aneurysm works, man. What's <laughs> but we rebuke. I needed Jesus, sister. Could have been a stroke. Could have been a blood vessel. Could have been anything, you know. But we needed Jesus. I, I had sent up to call on Jesus. And bleed that blood. We're going to need him, folks. Somewhere you're going to need God. Whenever you're going to need somewhere you're going to need God. Yes, Lord. And the devil told him, don't get back on your exercise and she will move off. That's what done. And then he told me, Brother Fred, then he told me, he said, now you get to church, Sal, you take calm. Don't you get excited. Don't you get loud. You take it calm, because you may bust something. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> And as you start living that devil, you be trying to man, protect yourself. Amen. I found out the devil is a lie. Amen. Amen. I said, You're a lie, devil. Amen. I got my screen anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need Jesus, even what the devil trying to do. The devil may try this stuff. This may be the devil trying to put something upon him, but the Bible tells us when the, when the enemy coming up on him like a flood, that the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. That's why I try to stand for Jesus. Yes, Every day I hope you better stand for Jesus, but you'll never know when the devil will attack your body. You'll never know when the devil comes to try to ditch you with oh, death. Oh, ditch you with some kind of paralyzed sickness, some kind of crippling disease. You'll never know when the devil will hit your body. You better stand up for Jesus now. What Jesus will stand up for you. Well, when it happened again, we're going to just suggest no. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking about it happening again. <laughs> that's hurt, man. I mean, that, that's, that, that's hurt. It really hurt. So you're trying to detect maybe what it was. So we just leave it alone. Just let it go. Don't come back. We ain't got to find out what it is. But Jesus, let it happen. I'm going to give that to you. I want to get this other scripture, Corinne. I want to get the two and I want to get the three. I want to get two. <coughs> we need Jesus. We don't need him. And we don't need to exalt our flesh. We don't need to exalt our flesh. They're too big to do stuff. I don't want to sit down and trim the grass and all this stuff. I'll catch you. Granddaughter home, sure. Mm -hmm. And I lived in the house us. The bushes and grew up and stuff. I said, God, in the summer, I have time. I just go there and cut the bushes down. Mm -hmm. Get all that grass, I turn around. Come more boys you got in, do nothing. Go away. I'm oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Young men, don't be sorry. They mad. Yeah. yeah. Don't be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ricky, little Ricky. Don't you have to be sorry? You have to mum and dad around there. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Dad, we're going to go back to air. Air? Now, I appreciate Dino, because this is us, you always, this is always, because she comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gets it. Yeah, yeah. She appreciates it. She appreciates it. And, um, the things they do. Man, do stuff for you. Especially that single mother, man, that them boys ought to be there to help out. Yeah. yeah. Tell it, preacher. And them young girls, or babies, you always help your mama. Yeah. yeah. Always be there for her to help her. You know? And you young girls, be there for your mamas and stuff like that. Amen. Uncle, be sorry, try it. Amen. Wanna walk in them ditches. <laughs> Did the wrong second? Did you want me? Don't want to wash no dish. Yeah. This is two of y'all sleep in the bed, you care? Don't get up and make your head for the bed up in the bed. Let's ask, let's ask, ask, ask what happened. Yes, it is. My cousin, we talking about the other, my cousin. I'm telling them, we got it, the two girls left together. So I'm trying. One of them got them, tried to make up a half of the bed. How can you make up half of the bed? Some of y'all be trying to help. help. Oh, yes. Do things, you know. Yeah, help. Eric, man, y'all be there for BB. There too. If y'all live there, man, y'all be there. She'll not have to cut the grass. She'll not have to trim a bush. She'll not have to do nothing. Amen. Stuff like that. Y'all be some mama won't do this. Don't worry about that, mama. You just take it inside. I got the, I got the outside. You ain't got to worry about that. So I'm, I'm going to do that for you. I'll take care of that. It takes about a couple of three hours out of the week. Amen. You can, they can. You know? Man, and I bet you you can go to her anytime. She'll be there. She'll be there for them. Most mamas will be there for the kids. They'll be right there for them. They can be. But I, but brother, it didn't bother me. I said, I go there and cut them bushes down and trim the grass and stuff up. Because you know, oh, sure they ain't got no big problem. Hey, so I'm a freak guy. I ain't be doing stuff like this. I get some men, they need to take care of this stuff. Look mm -hmm. back, I don't do that. Yeah, I don't do much around here. I do most of all of it. Because I don't have people come and volunteer me, so we'll do that. Take care of it. Brother, I'm not too worried about that. We'll take care of it. Don't get no stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, must be a kind of bad. <laughs> Tell the truth and stay in church. <laughs> I know they have to work. That's all right. We just, we just hit, and I'm, I'm closing. We just hit to come to church at night. I'm getting in the door and I drop my key. And guess who ran up there to pick my keys up for me? Key Aaron. She ran up there to pick my keys, and guess why Antonio was there? He said, I didn't remember playing. <laughs> Get my keys, boy. I said, "Let her go get my keys." And now the other boys in there, I know some of the girls, the, the lady like, and they, they have to do stuff. Boys, oh, yeah. oh, I said, "You be right here, right with me, trying to pick them things. You have to plan in the rain." She wanna pick the keys. Holy Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Master, for this. This worry, Father, this is just a plain, common, and a good worry. A good worry, Lord. Keep us, our spirit humble in this place. Help us to know outside of the spirit, God, we just, just play. Just play. One scripture said we just grass. We just grass. We will it over like a flower. God, help us and help each and God, 
As I take a stand for you, I want you to stand for these. Bat your word up, honor your word, Father. When we come to you in prayer, whatever situation it is, help us in Jesus' name. Doing what I know to do. <coughs> encourage us to strengthen us. And I encourage the folks not to exalt themselves. Don't walk around, you may prophesy. Don't let them walk around with a big spirit because they think they prophesy. Make themselves a prophet and the prophetess and stuff like that. You get a big spirit, God, help us to keep on because without you, we are nothing. And I thank you for this word. Well, let it get into our hearts. Help it to benefit us. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you. Give him a hand, praise me. That's what I want. I don't want to exalt myself, and God help me. I won't. You know, I won't. Lord, be my strength because I know uh, the devil's still out there. The devil that I used to walk with, he's still out there. Amen. Some things I used to do, he still got them out there. We're going to receive an offer. We're going to ask you to. We're going to ask you to bless the Lord today. Somebody needs to sacrifice and give an extra. Hey, y'all listen to me now. Don't get to talking until I say what I got to say. Somebody need to. Somebody need to give an extra offer today. Oh, uh, two times. Oh, thank you. One thank you. Thank you. You know what I'm gonna prove y'all with that? I got a ten. I'm gonna prove y'all the whole thing. I found this ten this morning. I tell y'all, I was going out of my house, man. The Lord had blow these fires out in the yard. I'm walking down there. Hey, Fred, look, man. <laughs> It's a dog, man. Man, jumped out of the car. Too late. <laughs> got that blow right down the yard. So I'm just going to prove God this way. Now. Somebody need to give God a prove God off. I, you know what? I, I'm going through that. I, I changed my mind. I, well, we just hold it. But, uh, but, uh, put that, put that in there. Thank you, Willie. Don't stop giving because I'm giving back to God, man. I, man, he going to give back to God. I don't, no, don't, don't stop that. We have anything to give, just give it to me and we just go and use all we can get. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Oh, y'all got the cooks and stuff? So they're going to sell cooks and potato chips out there today. And uh, one day, hopefully, the Lord will bless us. You know, we just kind of undecided. I, I want to get a place to put up out there where they can sell this stuff with this cooking. So we're going to receive an offer. Somebody need to give an extra 10 or an extra 20 today. God will bless you, Father. So the Lord will bless you, Father. Thank you, Master. As soon as we get this out of the way, we're going to let you. Listen, who needs prayer today? Where is up? Sister Eason, where is your sister and her husband? You talked to them this morning? They go to, they go to his brother, too? Then they go anywhere. You ever been over there? I just want to know what they're teaching. They're telling the truth over there. Somebody, so I'm going to give God an extra offer today. It's going to the church, man. I'm going to appreciate it. And if you would. <laughs>
Put the name on it. Put the list. There's a list. Somebody else may have an extra opportunity to get it. So I'm going to go Thank you. You know what? I'm going to pray. I was praying this morning. I said, I'm going to pray. Then they give an extra offer. I'm going to pray that this is going to be their proof offer. Proof God offer. And, uh, and, uh, you give God an extra. You know, I don't ever ask for an extra offer. I don't ever do that. But I wanted to go in another way today, you know. I'm going to ask God to bless you. Thank you, Master. Oh, baby, take care of your mother. Okay. What you need? Probably make up their mind. Once if I gave extra, somebody else give extra, honey. They don't kill you. Kill you, the next one, they ain't gonna kill you. Come on, I need that, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, that you bless her. God, let your blessing be upon her. Let it be showered upon her in Jesus' name. Lord, give her this desire, this request. Grant it unto her. In Jesus' name, God, and save her. Write her name in the Lamb of the Flag. Don't let a soul be lost when she's standing before you. Her mother, her brother, her sister, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, and that's been so under her, give us strength, Lord, and rebuke the devourer. Give us safety as she travels up and down the highways. In Jesus' name, protect her from the accidents and stuff. I ask it to be so. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Listen now, some of y'all write a check out, you want me to hold it. Sometimes y'all tell me to hold it to fry. But we go ahead and put the money in the bank and, and we just hold your check out. So it won't go in that Friday, it had to go in that next Monday. So if you tell me to do that, hold one to the Friday, it'll be that Monday. Because I, I can't hold some I can't hold some folks' checks out. They want me to go and get them in there. So Father, in Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost. Father, give us strength, strength to her son and her daughter, Lord. I pray by the Spirit, God, save him. God, break this hole off him. There's a hole on him, God. There's a grip on him. And it needs to be broken. And if you can move up on him, get him in. Let him get this in the house of God. In Jesus' name, strengthen my mother here, God. Give her double, double, double strength. In Jesus' name, I pray. Touch it from my head. Her feet, God, restore in Jesus' name. Make whole by the Spirit of God. I thank you. Thank you. Is that everybody? Everybody gay? Everybody satisfied? Where is coming from? Praise God. Jot your name on it, okay? Drop your name on the envelope and give it to me. Ah, I'm gonna ask. Ah, ah. I will. Uh, I will uh, ask God. Does anybody else want to give an extra? If you ain't already done. I'm gonna ask God for a special blessing upon you. Know, so I give you a prayer. Prayer to you. What you need? In the name of Jesus, He's got His blessing already. <laughs> you got to pray for Him. In Jesus' name, God bless Him. By the Holy Ghost, I pray. And I thank you. Father, in Jesus' name, she worked with a bunch of them too. Buying Satan, give up on a job, Lord. She worked at this boy's farm out here, tall tree. God, and maybe some of her co workers and stuff like that got buying Satan. Give her protection on that job and give her strength and wisdom. Give her anointing power that come through the job. Give her respect. By the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' divine name, I ask for this to be so blessed and prosper where she can get into the house of God, Lord. She needs to be getting into the church. 
And I pray in Jesus' name that you make it so, make it possible. Open up a way for her. In Jesus' name, every man's going to need you. Every woman's going to need you. And I'm asking you, God, that you'll be there for her. In Jesus' name. And I thank you. Thank God. I'm going to ask God to bless those that give that extra offering. Thank you, Master. Thank you for moving. Man, you know what you gave. I'm going to ask God to. Because you think God will do that? I think he will. I believe he will. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I, I, I was praying this morning on my knees, and I thought to ask for an extra offering, but I was going to take it all up first and then turn around and. Ask you to bless them, but that be a proof God offered for them. Lord, in these that gave this offering today, this extra, so I'm give 150, 20, whatever they give God, fourfold it. In the name of God, this special offering, fourfold it, God. Extra, an extra, an extraordinary blessing, an extra, not only tithing, but this extra that I asked to given. God, I command you by your word. Let it be so that they'll see it, God. It'll be fourfold. It'll be fourfold. I command this to come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command $400 for that $100 bill. God, I command $200 for that $50 bill. In so, in Jesus' name, I command this to come to pass. I command Lord. In Jesus' name, I command God 500 for that 50. By the word of the Lord, I speak this to come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God, that 30. Lord, 300. By the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, be it so. Be it so, Master. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Somebody say you believe it. I ain't got nothing there to believe. Got nothing there to believe. Thank you, Master. We're going to ask you to put your hands. Bless this offering. Thank God. You know what? Y'all have been digging in the pocket. Y'all done been giving up all that money. 